Hey folks, we're back here with more Bun Souls, and uh, here we are in this horribly sad place. So last time we fought Sif, Great Wolf Sif, companion of Night Artorius, Rip in Peace. Um, I guess I already picked it up, I forgot. There was a corpse, a female corpse, it's uh, a little hard to tell, but that's a female corpse lying behind Artorius' gravestone. What we got from her was... The bee drill, the hornet ring, which boosts critical attacks, which is actually very nifty. Hmm. There is one ring we are missing. We have the wolf ring, hornet ring, leo ring. Forgot what it was, but we'll, we should come across it. But yeah, I um, it's generally believed that this is the corpse of Lord's Blade, Kieran, the uh, the poor woman with the pointy head who uh, we killed in front of Artorius's, well not his grave, but where we killed Artor Artorius shortly after we killed this poor pointy-headed woman who was one of Gwyn's knights and um, dear friend of Artorius, as she puts it, it's surmised that, I think, I think people, it's generally accepted that she was his lover or something like that. Either way, yeah, Super Saiyan. So anyway, now that the Super Saiyan's out of the way, <clears throat> we're gonna be Shit, what are we doing today? I think I'm gonna go to Lost Eyes Lith and try to No, I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna First I'm gonna run around here a bit because there's some stuff we can pick up in the forest. Afterwards, we will go fight the four kings. That's what we're gonna do today. Oh right. There's no hill here. This is um like I said before, this is a very this is very close to the Royal Wood in the DLC area, because geographically it's the same region, which I think is awesome. But in Royal Wood, there's a path up there on the right that I kept running into when I kept getting dunked on by Artorius. But it's not there now. So, landforms, we gonna go this way. Ignore the mushroom children. Well, avoid the mushroom children. The, sh the children are fine. The mushroom children are fine. It's the mushroom adults. That, get back you little shit. It's the mushroom adults that we want to be concerned about. Um, oh boy. Daddy's mad. Look at how much freaking health they have. I'm gonna enchant my sword because these things, uh, they take a lot of hits and they hit like a freaking airplane. No! Not a truck, not a plane, or not a train, an airplane. They hit you like a jet just fell on your head. And if you have low defense, they can easily one-shot a lesser man. It's a good thing they're clearly very susceptible to magic damage, because I went from doing 500, or 5 to 600 to doing... 800 on them. I guess I already got this. Did I already get the magic ember? I totally forget. Oh, I totally did get the... Okay, never mind. Yeah, screw this place. We're out of here. Uh, well, actually, first. Yeah, no. We're out. Ah. I just got back from Cracker Barrel. I ate the chicken fried chicken with fried okra and cornbread and coffee and water and mashed potatoes with gravy, and steak fries, and it was very tasty. It's also, I think, the night before Halloween, so people are going out to get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Oh wait, that's what I was looking for. Actually, no, 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 no. Before we do that, with all the souls we got from Doggy, let's go back to Domnall of Xena and see if we can buy any more of his fine wares. See if we can make another fine trade. Of course! You son of a- Son of a whore! Oh my god. No. Keep my shorts! I don't know why I- I don't know why I Bart Simpson. You guys ain't shit. Anyway, down we go! I'm always afraid to take that jump because I'm always afraid I might just be just slightly too fat to not just fall off. I, I, I didn't expect to meet anybody here. 
I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> Such a friendly feller. Okay. What do we want? What do we want? Oh, I thought... Okay, that's right. I totally got all of, um... For some reason, I thought I had some Ornstein stuff left. Guess not. Well, while we're here... Actually... You know... What I could do... Basically, I don't want to, like... Screw up and lose all these souls. And eh, what the heck. Just for the sake of completion. Let's get all the golem stuff. Thank you. I have And let's get back in our merry way. I like I said, I do not keep tabs in what I have and have not already done Oh go oh boy. What I have or have not already done, so if I do th there's already been a lot of backtracking, hasn't there? I apologize for that. But so far I'd say this run is Very good. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. Anywho. Oh, good. Just enough for another level. Let's go up in decks. And yeah, so we've got great magic weapon, power within, and st I'm, I'm gonna put my fire hand over here. Oh, and speaking of, we should be able to... Oh, darn it. One more level, and we'll be able to use the gold and silver tracer. I just want to play with those because they're some of my favorite weapons, just because... Not because they're particularly powerful, but their moveset is just so cool. The, um, the silver tr or no, the gold tracer is... Well, even, even if you don't have the, uh, proper dex for it, like... You just dance around, it, it, it just looks so cool. And it's so great. The, um... The Silver Tracer is a little different because um, it doesn't really have this, the same kind of dancing motion. It's more of just kind of a straight dagger. But um, what it does is um, it inflicts toxic damage. So if you poke someone with it enough, I think if you strong attack someone with the Silver Tracer enough, it does toxic damage, which we know is severely worse than poison, by the way. Hey, hang on. Is that a sorcery emblems? Oh, I've never seen one like that. Not even back in Vinheim. What a brilliant flame. Please, friend, let me have that. I am begging you. I am a craftsman of Vinheim. I'd go hollow before I pass a flame. Well, we pondered giving him this ember. Let's gaze off at Hogwarts in the distance here. Oh, really? You are wonderful. I will forge a wicked masterpiece just for you. A weapon to make a legend out of it. So yeah, now he can forge magic weapons. Of course, if you have, if your weapon is sufficiently um, upgraded, I'm pretty sure your weapon has to be either plus five or plus ten in order to um, to be able to upgrade it to magic or any other non-standard path, I believe. And the other paths, I think I talked about this before. Um, off the, that I can recall, there aren't that many, but off the top of my head, there on um, magic weapon, fire weapon, a raw upgrade path, which at, at first I used with some weapons because I didn't know what it did. What it does is it removes scaling and puts, I think it puts all the scaling into just the strength of the weapon, which at first I thought, oh cool, this will make it stronger. N uh, it's, it's not that good. Uh, I would not recommend going doing a uh, raw upgrade all right one of these skeletors crap oh boy what if i can yeah get some get dunked kid all right and actually yeah Never mind, I'll put my pyromancy flame back up here so I can parry. Because these guys aren't that difficult to parry. I say that and now I'm gonna get my shit pushed in because I'm gonna flub up a parry. But. Okay, good. I can still keep the, uh. Keep the target shield and, uh, fast roll. Can I fast roll with my hat? Darn it! I cannot hat roll. You know what? I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet on this one. I really want to wear this hat. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Actually, no matter. Um, because see this? We got this from the wolf. 
This ring symbolizes Knight Artorius' covenant with the Beast of the Abyss. Its wearer, like Artorius himself, can traverse the Abyss. Traverse. Traverse. We need that for the next boss battle, because the next boss battle takes place in the Abyss. Like, literally, you are in what is known in the game's lore as the Abyss. What is the Abyss? Oh, uh, you'll see in a second. Because was the Abyss what we set out to, con to uh, combat in, um, in Ulysseal, in the DLC? Which we are not quite done with, actually. I'm putting that off for uh, later. Um, that is what we set out to conquer. What did we do? We defeated Manus, father of the Abyss. When we defeated Manus, that did not exactly stop the Abyss, because I think the, ge the general concept is he split into fragments that later infected others, other souls that continued the spread of the Abyss, which is hinted at in Dark Souls 2, I think. Or at least in people's interpretations of Dark Souls 2. But and that's why the Abyss still exists in this form. What form is that, you ask? I should have power within before I... This is the Abyss! It's a big black hole. This is where we fight the four kings. Because I forgot to double buff, this might be a bit of a pain. But... Oh boy. Four kings who ruled over An Orlando. No, New Londo. The four kings who watched over New Londo. Oh, he's gonna do his shitty. Okay. Oh god. Greedy sit. Greedy sip. I could just buff, but honestly, it's not that big a deal. I forgot he did that, because in my, my last playthrough when I fought these guys, they didn't do that once. <laughs> And the last one. See, I didn't want to speak too soon because I'm known for running my mouth and then completely eating shit right after. But it should go without saying at this point. On New Game 1, on just standard vanilla Dark Souls playthrough, the Four Kings... See, case in point. Anyway. A new game one, the four kings are chumps. They are just shit. They are they are not shit. <laughs> like, as you can see, I'm just wearing a gentry robe and a top hat, and most of their attacks aren't doing much. Take that you Final Fantasy looking creep. But uh yeah. A new game one, the four kings are not a difficult boss. Um which is why I didn't have that many qualms about going in, just, you know, dressed to kill. But, um, a new game plus and beyond, they're actually really freaking annoying. The, uh, trick to the Four Kings is that most pe people have put it as a DPS test, as in a, a damage per second test, because pretty much in that fight, because I killed them at a pretty good pace, um, I was only fighting one at a time. It's, if you take too long, you will end up fighting more than one at a time. 
it can get up to three. You can get up to ha having to fight three of those bastards at the same time. That means there are also technically more than four kings. I think there can be a grand total of like six kings that you fight before they finally bite the bullet. Cause um, while each individual enemy, each individual king has their own health bar, that is a separate health bar from the overall boss. So, um, while you saw the health bar at the bottom of the screen go down as I was hitting each enemy, um, I believe you can, um, even if there are two more kings in the field, um, if you kill one of them and the other one still has health, the whole boss will die once you get them down to, uh, to zero overall. It, it's weird. It, it's a, it's a cool fight, like, it's a neat enemy, I think, but, eh, not my favorite. Anyway, where to next? Alright. We're gonna upgrade. We're gonna up our decks. And what are we gonna do next? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll get, um... Uh, you know what? Get us to 26 strength, 26 decks. Because now we get to play with this. And now we get to play with... Yes. Okay. Like I said before, I th I'm never sure which goes in the right and which goes in the left hand. So maybe the silver tracer goes in the right and the gold goes in the left. In the end, I'm not sure it matters that much, but um, in order to get the full effect of the Silver Tracer, I think it has to be in the right hand, where you can poke. So it functions like a regular weapon. Regardless of what hand it's in, the Gold Tracer is just majestic. So before we continue on our warpath, let's go. Uh, where was it? Let's go to Enor Londo. Fight the first dudes I tested these weapons on. If you do not mind horribly. One second. Oh! Also, some news. I don't know if he wants me announcing this in a video. In fact, by, by the time I post these videos, it'll be long after the fact. But uh, Cormac, my uh, my stream buddy, who uh, this whole page was, this whole channel was started by him in the first place, he and his longtime girlfriend Jess just got engaged. So I want to say congratulations and send my sincerest apologies to both of them. But yeah, yeah he's uh, one of my best buds. Thought I'd give him a shout out here. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, you can see this is not doing a lot of damage. Then I bleed him! Now let's see if I can poison him. Yep, there we go! Oh yeah, check that out. Nope. Let's just let this happen. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Good dunked on kid. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's the fun part about these weapons. They um, they bleed everything to all shit, and it's freaking great. Okay, now that I've had my fun, let's get back to business. Sunlight straight sword. Ah, uh, this is Solaire's weapon. Rip in peace, comrade. It's a solid weapon. Standard longsword belonging to Solaire of Astora. It's of high quality, is well forged, and is, has been kept in good repair. Easy to use and dependable, but unlikely to live up to its grandiose name. Yeah, it's it's not that great. It's just a sword. But, um, it was Solaire's sword. It was a dear friend's weapon. Where the crap is my... Completely went past it. <laughs> I pray that through you, Whoops. her wish will be granted. Oh, you know what we can do? 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 Uh, um, uh, 
Know what we can do? Sorry, I know I'm jumping all over the place. I'm actually pretty energetic right now. We're gonna go to. We're not gonna take on. Um, we're not gonna take on the bed of chaos yet. We're not gonna go fight the grave lord yet. We're gonna make a new friend. So, see that statue of Poseidon, Nep Gwyn, up there. This is the what what is believed to be the tomb of Gwyn. The tomb of Gwyn is is watched over by a very particular deity. This is the Dark Moon Seance Ring. This ring is granted to adherents of Gwyndolin, Dark Moon deity and last born of Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight. Grants additional magic attunement slots. The Dark Sun Gwyndolin is the only remaining deity in Anor Londo. His followers are few, but their tasks are of vital importance. Check this shit out. Holy jumping fucking shitballs. When you equip we when you equip the Dark Moon Seance Ring, that goes away. Why is that? You're about to find out. Sup? Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine eye. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. O oh, disciple of the Dark Sun, thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the Covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shall protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the Dark Moon. So I will join this Covenant. The Covenant of Dark Sun Gwendolyn. The Goody Two-Shoes Justice League Covenant. It's actually pretty sweet. Very well. Now thou art a blade of the Dark Moon, <clears throat> hunteth the enemies of the Lords by the power of the Dark Sun. So what this is, is um, it's primarily a PvP covenant, where um, if someone has sinned, or if someone has brought Twilight upon An Orlando, which we'll probably do near the end of this playthrough, just so you, you can see what the hell I'm talking about. Um, you'll invade their world as a blue spirit. The world is someone who has sin, generally someone who's like killed an NPC, or someone who has a lot of PvP kills, and you'll fight them. And if you win, you get a souvenir of reprisal, which you can also collect from the stupid crow things in, in the painted world. You can bring those back to Gwendolyn and get a super cool sorcery that turns your sword bright blue. Actually, let me see if... I think... That's right, you have to bring him back ten souvenirs before you're allowed to uh, get that. Okay, I wanted to see if there was a shop. I, I'm... There, there wasn't. I don't know why there would be. But, yeah. So, anyway, we can take this thing back off. Dark Moon Blade Covenant Ring. Answer Dark Sun Gwendolyn summoning. Gwendolyn, all too aware of his repulsive, frail appearance, created the illusion of a sister Guinevere who helps him guard over an Orlando. An unmasking of these deities would be tantamount to blasphemy. So, what does that tell you? The Guinevere that we saw a little while ago. Which, bear with me. Hey, lady. Lady. She ain't real. She is an illusion. You can destroy the illusion by shooting her with an arrow. You, I'm pretty sure you can't hit her with your weapon. She's too far away. But, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you shoot her with an arrow, she disappears. And, um... You know what? I'll just show her. Nah. Uh, uh, it's not necessarily... Uh, you know, this isn't meant to be a spoiler-free sort of anything, but at the same time, I kind of also wanted to... Wanted... Basically, Gwendolyn gets pissed at you. You can shoot her, she'll go away, Gwendolyn will get mad, and the sun will set on an Orlando, I'll tell you that much. Oh, by the way, since we have completed Knight Kirk's quest... Ooh, what's that? 
a dead guy who wasn't here before. Helm of Thorns. We can get Knight Kirk set. For some reason, he ends up over here. But, uh, yeah. If you remember that invader we fought three times. He's here now. He's nice and dead. We can loot his crap. We have no reason to be here anymore. So, while I figure out what to do for the last five minutes... Please bear with me. I think we can teleport to... Okay. I think I know what's next on our list. We're going to the Tomb of the Giants to fight Grave Lord Nito. And hopefully see if we have de aggroed um, what's his face patches. Before we do that, <laughs> I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on cast light because I hate this place because I can't see a damn old bloody thing. I could just put on the sunlight maggot that I got from poor old Solaire, and that emits light over my head, but what fun is that? Hey, Booty. I did you wrong. No, and I'm not gonna kick him this time, I've learned my lesson. Anyway, no, 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 no. I'm not even gonna bother you, not even gonna bother with you, not even gonna bother with you. This place has the most god-awful enemies in this game. If you can't already tell by the tone of my voice, this is one of my least... F <laughs> one of my least favorite places in the game to traverse. Oh god, Black Knight. Oh god, Skeleton Archer. Oh god, not worth it. Oh god, I'm gonna fall. Oh god, I'm okay. Okay, I actually wanted that, but, uh, can I... Yeah! Hey, bitch. <laughs> oh, no, 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 something fell and died. Okay, I think there's a... There should be a... Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I hate this place so much. No, 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 no. <laughs> this place is loaded with spookies. I hate the spookies. Okay. There's one thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, sorry, I, I usually like to take my time going through these kinds of places if I'm showing them off, but this is the most god-awful place in the game. To me, in my humble opinion. So I'm gonna de-hollow. You're about to see why. Um, there is, um, I'll just, I'll just tell you, there's, um, there's an invasion event here that I want to, uh, get out of the way. And I also just want to, I want to get the hell out of here. Most people, no, 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 no. I'll show off the skeleton dog's shitty attacks later. They are, they are Hitler. The skeleton dogs are literally Hitler. Um, but, um, enough about that. <laughs> yeah. What they do is, they just freaking wail it. Something fell and died. The skeleton dogs will jump at you, wail at you, swipe at you constantly. They absolutely kill your stamina. They hit like a freaking truck. I know I say that a lot. I use that euphemism a lot, but, um, with so many enemies in this game, it's completely true. Oh, guess what? Dark Paladin Leroy. This is not a guy- this- I found out recently. I didn't know this before. You can actually summon this guy for help against- Oh, look, he's dead. I believe we got the Grant? Grant and the Sanctus. He's, he's a cool guy. He's, I believe, the first undead paladin to traverse Lordran. We're not going to take on Nito yet because, uh, you know, I'm screw running back. I'm just going to homeward bone back because we got some souls I want to waste. I'm kind of a wuss with souls, to be honest. But um, Leroy can be summoned from a, uh, lit from a um, precarious, obscure ledge before Pinwheel. I believe he's above the room with all the stupid bone skele or skeleton wheels. Bone skeletons. <laughs> but, um, I've never summoned him. I, I found out recently through watching a video, watching one of Epic Name Bros videos, he showed that off, and I was like, oh crap, I didn't know that was there. 
Not like you need to summon anyone in the fight against Pinwheel because he's a pushover, but um, it, it's neat. Cause, just because he's a, he's a dude you run into later on. But um, I'm going to start upping my intelligence because I want to be able to use Crystal Magic Weapon when we get it because it's so good. It's so useful. Anyway, now that this hellhole's out of our jolly way, I'm going to light our sword up, light my head up, and light my life up. I, I don't know what I'm... Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya, see ya.